Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys this super easy cut crease glitter look for New Year's Eve. If you're interested in how I got this look, just keep watching. I'm going to start out this look by placing this gold color with some brown undertones from my BH Cosmetic palette, Day and Night palette, and I'm going to place this all over my brow bone. And then I'm going in with this super light brown, like sort of camel brown, and I'm going to start by placing this all over my crease for more of a transition color. After that, I'm going to start out by prepping my eyes with some glue for the glitter. And this is not actual glitter glue, I didn't have any, so I used um, some eyelash glue. And this is not my favorite way to do it, but it works. And I'm doing it with a brush because I want it to be a little bit more precise. And I didn't want my, hands, my fingers to be all sticky, so either way works. The glitter that I'm going to be using today is from Wet n Wild in Mega Sparkle in Confetti. And I'm going to use the same brush that I used to place the, the glue on my lid. And I'm going to put this all over my lid, um, stopping right below my natural crease. And just a word of warning, um, I would make sure to add the glue right before you put in your um, glitter because I put it on the eye and it sort of dried out and I had to place it again and it just it made a mess so before you try it if you don't have any glitter gl uh, glue just go ahead and use your eyelash glue but put it in on your lid right before you put your glitter so it doesn't get super dry Taking this liquid liner, I'm going to go ahead and draw my cat eye, and it's going to be a super elongated, sort of exaggerated cat eye, just because this look is a little bit more dramatic. I do recommend you lining your lid with um, a liquid liner versus a gel liner. It just glides over the glitter a whole lot more easier. Now I'm going in pretty heavy with some black with a Makeup Geeks pencil brush. This is a really small brush and I love it for cut creases and I usually, I usually use it very lightly to create a more precise line. But I wanted to add pack in the black just so when I blend it, it doesn't completely disappear. Now I'm blending these two shades from that BH Cosmetic um, palette and I'm going to use this color to fade out and blend out that black. I'm pretty much done with my eyes, so I'm just going to take a clean brush and I'm going to uh, remove all that foul out from the glitter. Now I'm just going to pack on the, the mascara so I can get rid of most of the glitter on my lids. Just with I went some ahead. white shadow, I'm going to place this on my lower lash line in my inner corner to add some highlighter and to add some depth to this shade. Now I'm taking just some gel liner and I'm going to line my water, my lower water line as well as create an inner cat eye. Good. Again, I'm going in with that on the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to mix the same colors that I used to blend that black onto my top lid and I'm going to go ahead and smoke out my lower lash line. Taking a small angle brush, I'm going to go ahead and buff out my la my the cat eye that I created just so it seems a little bit more seamless and not created. I've already put my um, lashes outside of the camera. It was just a big mess and didn't want you guys to see me struggle like that. I'm just going in with a little bit more liner to blend in my lashes. 
and taking relentlessly red from MAC and place this on my lips of course um, after I line them and this is a gorgeous red I love red for New Year's Eve just because of all the pictures and because this is a matte um, kind of lipstick it'll it'll be sure to last you through all those drinks through all those smooches way be after the clock strikes 12 And that's it guys. I hope you guys give this look a try and that you enjoyed this video. And I hope that your new year is full of surprises and wonderful things. Bye.